Top 5 Works Written in Prison Prison literature is a fully formed genre. While locked up, many people find the reflexive outlet of writing a way to pass the monotony. Others find that they feel they must write to express some wrong, either against themselves or others. While imprisonment has been the cause of great works, such as the Gulag Archipelago of Scholzenitzen, this list will focus on those works actually composed within prisons or jails. There is no particular order to this list as each work will speak to different people in particular ways. 5. Letters and Papers from Prison, Dietrich Bonhoeffer Bonhoeffer had the many chances to lead an easy life. He was born into middle-class comfort in 1906 Germany. He might have followed his father in medicine or pursued music. Instead, Bonhoeffer studied theology and did pastoral work in Harlem to become a pastor. When the Nazis took political power, they also forced cooperative into positions of power. Bonhoeffer and other liberal churchmen formed their own communion. He had many chances to move abroad and avoid persecution, but after intense internal debate, he chose to be in Germany for the duration of the war. Bonhoeffer was arrested in 1943 and held until just 23 days before the end of the war, when he was hanged. During his imprisonment, Bonhoeffer wrote widely, and this collection of his letters and papers contained much that is worth studying, even if the finer details of Christian theology are not your cup of tea. 4. Letter from Birmingham Jail, Martin Luther King Jr. We can be glad that King did pause to answer his critics because the letter he wrote from jail, where he was held for protesting without a permit, is a ringing vindication of the rights of all people. Bonhoeffer, as a profound theologian, can sometimes speak in terms whose meaning eludes us. This letter talks to everyone, Christian or not. King's letter was written in response to eight local clergymen who published a letter, a call for unity, which called for African Americans to press their case for equal rights through the courts and not by demonstrations. Dr. King responds calmly and in a fairly brief space, sets out all the reasons that it is impossible for a man of conscience to allow injustice to continue. This is the best document for understanding the greatness of King's leadership. If I were subjugated by such injustice, would I be able to meet it with such reason, determination, and forgiveness? But it is not just a call to those suffering discrimination personally. We must all be responsible for guaranteeing the rights of others. 3. Prison Epistles, Paul Paul was the first and most influential Christian theologian. He started out as a persecutor of Christians, but after an encounter with Jesus on the road to Damascus, Paul became one of the most vocal supporters of Christianity. His letters proved so important to Christian theology that they were incorporated into the canon of the New Testament. While Paul was spreading faith in Jesus as the Messiah, he caused much consternation. After a confrontation in Jerusalem, Paul was arrested and held in prison. Here he wrote several important letters to Christian communities, the Colossians, the Ephesians, the Philippians, and one letter to Philemon. There is some scholarly debate over whether Ephesians and Colossians are genuine Pauline epistles, but are still held by most Christians as part of the canon. Paul's letters were later closely read by Martin Luther, and Pauline theology was a major driving force behind the Catholic-Protestant schism. 2. Le Morte de Arthur, Thomas Mallory England has a rich history of Arthurian mythology, which has inspired writers for hundreds of years. While in prison, Thomas Mallory wrote, using French sources, the most famous version of Arthurian legend. We are not entirely sure of the biography of Mallory. There are several competing candidates for the identity of the author, but we know from the work itself that it was composed in prison. Le Morte de Arthur has given the world some of the best known images of Arthur, such as the pulling of the sword from the stone and the Lady of the Lake her arm covered in shimmering semite. 1. The Consolation of Philosophy Bethius When it comes to literary works composed in prison, there is no choice but the consolation of philosophy for the first place, to my mind at least. Ever since it was published, the work has been influential. Translated from Latin into English by King Alfred, Chaucer, and Queen Elizabeth I, the book serves as a warning to those in power. 
Bethius was at the pinnacle of power in Rome after the collapse of the Western Empire. Unfortunately, he fell foul of Theodoric the Great and was imprisoned. This sudden change in fortune is what prompted Bethius to write this philosophical dialogue between himself and the goddess Philosophy. Bethius feels grieved that he has had everything taken away from him. Philosophy leads him by questioning to consider whether anything outside of himself was ever truly his to begin with. I'll admit not everyone finds philosophy's words all that consolatory, but it remains a foundational text for Western civilization.